हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई टी जे ओलम्पियाड्स एंड ए पी फिजिक्स विद अम्बरीश एंड टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट टू यू माय एनालिसिस ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम इन क्रोटो ऑन सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन दैट इज क्रोटो 1.96 मेनी स्टूडेंट्स दे फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ डिफिकल्टी इन सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड देर इज अ सोल्यूशन गिवन इन क्रोटो बाय फोर्स मैथड एंड I am going to present an alternate method. That is, I am going to solve this problem by energy method. In fact, um, even many sharp students have seen that um, when this question came in our exam, many sharp students were facing a lot of difficulty and they uh, could not do it in the exam situation. So let's see how to analyze this one. Okay. And apart from that, I am also going to tell you a general formula which is applicable in almost everywhere, wherever the potential energy is function of uh, some variable, and we want to figure out the shm uh, time period or frequency okay so uh, stay tuned and i uh, i'll tell you all the details of the technique uh, that i'm going to use here so let me read out the question first four weightless rods of length l each are connected by hinge joints and form a romb so there are four rods 1 2 3 and 4 and there's a hinge over here at b and d there is a hinge okay and there's also a hinge at point a and this is a fixed hinge and then there's a hinge at point c to which a block is connected okay so the see the figure the hinge a is fixed and a load is suspended to hinge c okay here hinges d and b are connected by a weightless spring of natural length 1.5 l so this is the spring and its natural length is 1.5 l of course uh, when um, uh, you tie a block over here even you suspend a block the spring will get compressed so right now the length is something else but its natural length is 1.5 l okay uh let me correct this one so this is 1.5 l okay and in equilibrium the rods form angle alpha not is equal to 30 degree so this angle is 30 degree with the vertical okay this angle is known in this situation okay determine the time period t of the small oscillations of the load we have to find the time period of oscillations now uh, see important thing is that mass of the block is not given although we might be able to infer it from the given uh, information but it's not given in the problem as, as such so our uh, answer cannot contain the mass m okay and uh, the spring constant uh, k is also not given so k is not known k is also not known so let me write here uh, just to make sure that you do not use any variable that's not mentioned in the problem already okay so k is also not given okay so if you want uh, you can try out this problem for some time and uh, then uh, you can have look at my have a look at my analysis uh, i'll get into my analysis right away okay so first of all i'll introduce the concept so what's the concept if the potential energy of an oscillating mass varies with coordinate as u is equal to f of x this u could be any uh, function it doesn't matter uh, see uh, whenever there's a potential energy fu function so whenever there's a value of potential energy function the oscillatory motion can happen in that value and if that oscillatory motion happens to be an shm then we can write a general formula for the time period of that shm see so if the potential energy varies as u is equal to f of x then the time period of shm about the mean position is given as 2 pi under root of m upon u double dash that is d square u by dx square okay so this formula you can apply just about anywhere wherever there is a potential energy function given as a function of x and you know that the motion is shm okay now how to prove this formula so let's see the proof of this formula and then i'll use this in my analysis of the problem crotos problem okay so uh, now we know from work power energy chapter that uh, what's the relation between conservative force and potential energy so potential energy is nothing but uh, i mean force is nothing but negative of the derivative of potential energy so fx is minus u dash head by dash i mean first derivative with respect to the coordinate okay and now at the mean position net force is always zero right mean position is the equilibrium position and that means the force at mean position is zero okay so that means u dash is zero at mean position and another thing we know uh, by approximation is that change in value of any continuous function for small change in the independent variable is given by f of x plus delta is approximately equal to f of x 
plus df by dx into delta x how do we get this this is simple if you see this is some function f of x let us say and you have you know the values over here at some x you know the value and you want to find out the value at x plus delta x so you can approximate this graph as a straight line here right so what is the change in this so this is delta x into tan theta right and tan theta is nothing but dy by dx so that's what i've written so df by dx is tan theta into delta x that is the change in value of your f f of x okay so f of x plus delta x is f of x plus df by dx into delta x this is also known as taylor's approximation first order approximation now uh so what ha what's happening so uh, the block is oscillating about its mean position and you suppose displace it by some amount s then there will be some restoring force acting on it and what what will be the restoring force we can use this taylor's approximation for that how so if we want to evaluate restoring force on a particle at a displacement s s from the mean position say x not we can write the force as f of x not plus s is nothing but f of x not plus df by dx at x not into s right same formula instead of delta x i have put s so now uh, if x not is the mean position then capital f of x not is obviously zero so therefore what is this f f of x not plus s simply becomes now df by dx becomes what see uh, f itself is minus u dash of x so df of df by dx will become minus u double dash at x not right so that's what we get so f at x not plus s that is at a distance s from the mean position is nothing but u double dash of x not into s and this force should also be equal to mass times acceleration which is not nothing but mass times second derivative of the displacement so this is m times d square s by dt square and now uh, all of you know what's going to happen this uh, uh, you just need to rearrange this equation and you can very easily see that you've got simple harmonic motion differential equation so what do you get see rearrange this what do you get d square s by dt square s minus u double dash by m at x naught and multiplied by s okay and this is your standard simple harmonic motion differential equation and then what is the omega of this shm this is simply compared with the standard form it is simply under root of u double dash by m or time period is 2 pi under root of m upon u double dash so i hope uh, you got the derivation of this uh, formula and uh, you can use it anywhere many times you come across questions where potential energy function is given and you have to figure out the time period of SHM. use this formula directly you'll get it in one line okay so, so what's the procedure first of all you have to find out you make u dash equal to zero and find the value of x naught where it is oscillating so find the position of stable equilibrium and once you have found the position of stable equilibrium find u double dash at the position of stable equilibrium and just put this so t will be 2 pi under root m upon u double dash at the position of stable equilibrium okay now let's come to our problem okay so let's say uh, from the hinge to the point where the block is connected uh, let's say this distance is y this distance is y and uh, now the spring what is the length of the spring right now see uh, if this whole distance is y and this is a rhombus so then this means what so this must be from a to the midpoint let's say this is o so a o must be equal to y by 2 and accordingly o d should be equal to y by 2 into tan theta right and b d will be equal to then not tan theta tan alpha right so it, this o d is y by 2 tan alpha and b d becomes then y by 2 into 2 tan alpha right because o d and b d both are equal so o d has to be multiplied by 2 okay so uh, okay uh, so uh, i can write now uh, what is the compression in the spring its natural length was 1.5 l naught uh, in fact there was no naught so i can just put 1 1.5 l everywhere there is no need for putting a subscript l naught so this length is 1.5 uh, l without compression and after compression it is uh, y tan alpha right so uh, what's the potential energy stored in this so that you know that potential energy is half k x square so that is half k into 1.5 l that's the natural length of this and minus the new length that is 2 into y by 2 tan alpha right 2 because bo and od are equal okay so this is the spring potential energy of the system what about the gravitational potential energy so if you choose the top hinge as the reference so it is y depth below the top hinge and therefore gravitational potential energy is minus mgy so this is your potential energy function 
ओके एंड नाउ वी कैन अप्लाई आर प्रोसीजर वॉट वील डू वील डिफ्रेंशिएट द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी फंक्शन एंड इक्वेट टू जीरो एंड सॉल्व फॉर एम दैट विल बी आर प्रोसीजर राइट यू डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई इक्वेटेड टू जीरो एंड सॉल्व फॉर एम सो लेट्स डू दैट एंड ऑल्सो वी नो दैट वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ टेन एल्फा सी बाई पाइथागोरस थियरम सो दिस डिस्टेंस इज अंडर रूट ऑफ एल स्क्वायर माइनस वाई बाई टू स्क्वायर राइट बिकॉज दिस इज योर वाई बाई टू दिस मच इज वाई बाई टू एंड दिस इज एल सो बाई पाइथागोरस थियरम दिस डिस्टेंस इज अंडर रूट ऑफ एल स्क्वायर माइनस वाई बाई टू स्क्वायर राइट एंड दिस इज ऑफकोर्स वाई बाई टू सो टेन एल्फा इज वॉट अंडर रूट ऑफ एल स्क्वायर माइनस वाई बाई टू स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई वाई बाई टू यू मल्टीप्लाई टू above and below so this is what you get for tan alpha okay and now you can substitute this for tan alpha you can ex expand this whole thing so a square plus b square plus 2ab uh, formula you can use for expanding and then you know that you will be getting a tan square alpha so tan square alpha will be square of this and so if you expand that and you put this for tan alpha finally you get equation number 11 so just put 10 in 9 and expand so this is what you get for potential energy function right so now what's the next step you differentiate potential energy function and then equate it to zero so du by dy should be equal to zero and we also know that in the given problem this alpha not is given as 30 degrees so that means what y is 2l cos 30 degrees so i need to differentiate this equate to zero when y is 2l cos 30 degree and let's see what do we get for m so okay so let's differentiate this so minus mgy if you differentiate this with respect to y you get simply minus mg right and then this half k comes as it is now 9 by 4 l square is a constant so its derivative goes to 0 again 4 l square is a constant its derivative goes to 0 derivative of minus y square is minus 2y okay and this is 3l and 1 upon 2 under root of l square uh, minus y square there should be i think a minus sign i missed over here this should have been a minus sign just one second up huh? a square plus b square minus 2ab because this is minus sign over here so i made a plus minus mistake this should have been a minus sign okay okay so now uh, if you expand this you get uh, uh, and you di differentiate this this is what you get so 1 upon 2 root 4l square minus y square and multiplied by minus 2y so minus minus then will become plus and this step is correct now 13th step is correct equation 13 is fine and you equate it to 0 and you put y is equal to 2l cos 30 degree and if you solve that you will get the value of m directly m will come out to be under root 3 kl by 2g so even though i do not know k and m but i know now the uh, relation between m k and l so i have this one equation okay uh, in the question neither m is given nor k is given but this is one relation i know in m and k now so this was the way of finding the Uh, so mean position is uh, u dash equal to zero. That will give us the uh, some relation which is valid at the mean position. Okay. Now, for finding the time period at the mean position, I need to evaluate u double dash. So, thirteenth equation I had found u dash. So differentiate this once more with respect to y. So what do you get? U double dash is just derivative of this I have taken. So uh, mg derivative goes to zero and this k by two comes as it is. So minus two y derivative it becomes minus two and then three l y. You just uh, use the quotient rule over here, and this is what you get. Uh, first function derivative second plus second function derivative first, and if you want, then you can combine the two and simplify. So you get this as the second derivative. Okay. Again, where do I have to evaluate the second derivative? I have to evaluate the second derivative for a particular case where alpha is thirty degree or y is two l cos thirty degree. So you you just put y as two l cos thirty in this, and then you will get the value of u double dash. So if you calculate u double dash, comes out to be. 5k. You just need to put in this value, and then it will simplify, and you will be left with just 5k. You can verify for yourself. And then I told you time period is what 2 pi under root m upon u double dash. So if you just put that, that becomes 2 pi under root m over 5k. But uh, m and k are not given. So what do I do? I have a relation between m and k. So m by k is nothing but root 3l by 2g. Okay. So you just put m by k as Root 3l over 2g, so root 3l in the numerator and 2g in the denominator that becomes 10g, right? 5 into 2g becomes 10g. So our time period then becomes 2 pi under root of 3l by 10g. So that's our final answer. So that was my analysis of Kroto 1.96. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and. Uh, 
then please do share it in as many whatsapp groups or uh, telegram groups uh, which you might be part of for your academics or any other academic group that you might be part of please do share my uh, video and uh, most importantly if you are not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel for more awesome stuff uh, thanks a lot for watching this video please do keep coming back to my channel for more videos